I'm going to pick on Super Smash Brothers uh, to make it a lot easier for me because uh, I don't know all of the games out there for a specific league that we're in. There are certain rules for when they compete. And we make sure that one, the students understand what those rules are, and but so they can also use that to their advantage. So, so they can learn the, the how do I want to say it? The mechanics. Yeah. So they can learn the actual mechanics of of the game before they actually get to the high school level. The next thing is that way they can also communicate to each other mm -hmm. as a team. We have to put our best person first. So they ha they'll have to decide amongst themselves who's the actual best competitive player and then strategically uh, determine who's going to go next and then after that. But we'll also have practices where they'll determine like, hey, if you're going to use a grab, you have to watch out for X, Y, and Z because you'll be vulnerable to specific attacks, counters, and so on. Okay. And, and first of all, so I know a lot of parents are probably like, what the heck is Smash Brothers? Uh, <laughs> so let's, let's, let's say football, baseball. So mm -hmm. parents understand that my kid picks up a baseball and we practice throwing it. They practice catching it. They, they get there and you throw the ball and they bat and they run around the bases and they learn the rules of the game. So with smash brothers, it's a, a video game. It's a fighting mm -hmm. game and characters mm -hmm. and, and the players choose their own characters, which have strengths and weaknesses for each. How would you say to, to, for a parent to wrap their mind around how is what you're doing comparable, but also different than regular football, baseball practice and skills. I wouldn't see it that different because even in football, they have to, they have to hone physical skills, right? Yeah. They have to figure uh, out like what their strengths and weaknesses are. And with, with Smash Brothers, it's, it's going to be the same thing. They have to understand all of the different characters, strengths and weaknesses, mm -hmm. kind of like what you were saying, but they're also going to have to be able to play to their opponent. So if they know what their opponent's strengths and weaknesses are, so for a particular football team, you might know that, hey, their defense is really good. So you're going to have to find ways to get around their defense. Same kind of concept in Smash Brothers, you know, each character, each person will pick a character and then they're going to have to know that character's strengths and weaknesses to be able to overcome and actually defeat that player. In my thinking, you've got the guy who is maybe not as heavily built, but has a good arm. So he's the quarterback. Mm -hmm. Then you got the guy that's, you know, the refrigerator and he's in front of the quarterback. <laughs> uh, then you got the, the little wiry guy that has quick feet and he runs and catches. So that's the same thing here. It's just that they're using the, the avatar of the video mm -hmm. yes. with the yes. controller. The one pushback I get from a lot of parents, and I've heard this from multiple, is, well, this is going to just change our culture. Golf is a sport now in high school that kids can play. And golf is not the same. It's, it's a single-player thing as opposed to a team thing. So this is just another extension in my mind. I would completely agree. 